Remove the wheel from the frame so you can access the free hub. On a rear wheel, the cone and lock nut on the drive side may not be accessible. The right side lock nut and cone should be kept locked tight together and all adjustments done on the other side. If the right side lock nut and cone aren't locked together, the hub needs to be disassembled and serviced. An adjustable hub has a lock nut on the outside, then maybe a washer, then the cone, which has two narrow flats. Cone spanners are thin spanners that fit onto the narrow flats. You need one that fits the narrow flats exactly. This is likely to be somewhere between 13 millimeters and 16 millimeters. Hold the axle still with an axle vise and turn the lock nut anti-clockwise to unlock the bearing. Screw the cone in or out to tighten or loosen the bearing on the free hub. Make small adjustments and check the bearing between each. Once the bearing on the free hub is in the target zone of not too loose and not too tight, hold the cone still and screw the lock nut tight against it to lock the bearing. Check the bearing on the free hub and readjust if necessary. The act of locking may change the tightness of the bearing, so if your first try at locking ends up too tight, start again with the bearing very slightly looser.